Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to YOLO Tabletop Games, second YouTube video ever. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a background, um, this is a brand new YouTube channel just uh, launching now here in 2023. The plan is to do one video a week just to start of doing collector booster box openings. Uh, the very first video was pretty darn awesome. You'll have to go and check it out. I did a boost, uh, collector booster box opening for Brothers War and pulled a serialized card uh, figures um, for the very first ever YouTube channel for YOLO Tabletop Games. So that was very exciting. Um, going to be going through a lot of uh, Brothers Wars collector booster boxes, Dominaria United collector booster boxes, maybe some, get into some Infinity and some Boulder's Gate. I'm not, I have i don't know. I've got a um, uh, massive inventory of collector booster boxes uh, from basically every edition that there is right now. And uh, going to have some fun opening up some of that for both store inventory as well as for free card giveaways. Uh, so that's the second uh, exciting part about uh, the channel. You know, I've got to promote this channel some way, shape, or form, and the best way I can think to do that and to support the Magic the Gathering community is to give away free stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be giving away um, free cards, free booster boxes, free boxes, I, I don't know, a bunch of free stuff. Uh, we'll kind of play with it as we go. Maybe I'll take some polls from you guys all so you can give me feedback about what kind of free swag you want to see get, seen given away on the channel. I'm also contemplating um, doing something like, you know, just free giveaways of whatever the chase card is. Like if, uh, if, for example, Dominaria United, they've got the Legends chase card. So maybe I'll just do like a video where whoever, you know, the very first Legends card that gets pulled from the box, regardless of whatever value it is, I'll give that way, one away for free. I don't care if it's the $4,000 uh, tabernacle. Um, the whole point is, is it's kind of something for the community to enjoy and partake in. So... Uh, that's kind of the concept. Going to have some guest visitors, I think, come in uh, as well. But I want to see how many viewers we I can get for this uh, channel. Um, so I think for the first three months, for the first quarter, I'll just run uh, Collector Booster Box openings. Maybe do a couple of exciting vintage buy uh, or vintage auction uh, pickups as well. Um, sometimes, you know, you can spend a few thousand dollars on a collection and you get roughly your value back after you know selling commissions fees shipping etc um, other times you can spend a few thousand and, and walk away a big winner so um, definitely have a few of those definitely have a few losses as well I think I'll do a mixture of like I'll just share with you everything uh, that I you know both the wins and the losses on uh, collector booster boxes and uh, collection uh, purchases so they'll keep a, keep an eye out because those collection purchases they're j just so much fun right you never know what you're gonna get um, and I have a pretty good eye for those these days now, um, being in the business for, well, in business for about three, four years now or so. Um, so yeah, starting to figure things out. Anyways, I will offer some tips and tricks and, you know, ways that you can save some, some money on your collections as well as we go throughout. But largely I want to focus on, uh, editions that have been out for several months already, because as we all know, all too painfully well, um, more frequently than not, uh, I'd say like one out of 10, maybe two out of 10 in a good year. If you're lucky, um, two out of 10 times you're going to be all right. Well, sorry about that. The, uh, camera shorted out. So anyways, uh, let's get back into things here. Sorry for the disturbance there. Um, all right, so without further ado, let's get into it. What do we? Uh, let's save the box topper for last. We'll put that up in the top corner here, so we don't lose track of it. And uh, let's just get cracking, guys. Uh, so again, we're out here looking for that Legends Chase card. Otherwise, Sheila Dread or dead. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the way it is. Unfortunately, Liliana just not really, you know, worth too much. Uh, you could get a Green Sleeves uh, Morrow Sorcerer. That would be a really nice pull or a Reaver Cleaver um from the commander set but uh really when it comes to the dominator united set itself uh it's kind of sheila dread or break and if you don't hit a sheila dread or two uh depending on the price point you pick these up at i know there was that ridiculous sale on amazon but i think you're limited to three boxes so um you know and i think the average person has spent about 190 dollars a box so unless you're hitting two sheila dreads 
uh, or a big legends pull, it's kind of a set to walk away from. Um, but that's part of the gamble, right? That's part of the fun on your, your hunting and your fishing and your chasing. And, uh, sometimes you catch something when you're chasing the magic and other times you do not. So we got a Namada, the primeval warden for our first stained glass foil there. Um, and it's like, I, I would say it's etched stained glass. Like there's definitely some texturing around the borders and, and, uh, the foil, the stained glass is very clean, but everything else kind of looks textured or is it, does it even feel, yeah, it feels textured too. So, um, we've got a Maria, 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 scholar of antiquity, standard, uh, frame foil. Then we've got the Tiller engine from the commander. We've got a Tatiova. Steward of Tides, stained glass foil. I'll try to keep the, the, the rares, the stained glass rare and the uncommons all separate. And also the uh, non-foils as well. Then we've got a General Marhalt Els Dragon, uh, etched foil. We've also got the Lady of Oteria, etched foil. Um, unfortunately... I, I do believe she's not worth much. The tiller the tiller engine is a nice pull. Um, we'll take that. But I do believe that the Lady of Oteria doesn't have much value. But we will set her aside for the mythic that she is. Then we've got King Darien, a quite common uh, pull, rare pull from the stained glass variant. And Valiant Veteran in the extended art uh, foil format. Followed by the token... Last but not least, well, I, there there are some good tokens um, that have been. Is it is it Dominaria that has some decent tokens? I can't remember. I know there's a couple of recent editions where the tokens are pretty darn OP and pretty valuable. I love that. I love these lands, the stained glass lands. I think they're beautiful. Um, like they're not high in value, but they're just a gorgeous card. They're a really nice looking card. Okay, so we've got Balmore, the Battle Mage Captain, Uncommon Foil and Stained Glass. We've got Silver Scrutiny for a, a, uh, our uh, Standard Rare Foil. Um, Aether Channeler, Extended Art Rare. We'll shift that on over here beside the foil. Then we've got Tura Kenarut, the Sky Knight, for a Stained Glass Uncommon Foil. Jasmine Be Boreal of the Seven for our commander. And the ever-changing Dane. Foil from the commander as well. And a Tetsuo. Imperial Champion Mythic Pole. And a Jean Oh, wow. Those Mythic Poles. Okay. So that's exciting. A Johnny Sleeper Agent. A, agent, uh, a, a Planeswalker Pole. Mythic Rare, Full Art Foil, and it is a stunning card. It is a beautiful card. There's there's no complaints about that. Um, what a beautiful card. What is the Ajani going for? Let's take a look here. So the Ajani Sleeper Agent, 3... Is it 75 or 76? That's 75. Okay, so he is a $10 pull. So that's a nice... We'll set that one off to the side here. That's a nice pull there. Um, very nice. Awesome. And that's just a gorgeous card. It really looks sharp, guys. Hold it up for the camera again at the end. Give you a little peek again now. He is just a sharp-looking fellow there. The color is awesome. I love the radiancy of that yellow. It's just very vibrant. Okay. Let's get back into it. And I apologize, I gotta learn the valuable uncommons and commons. I know there's a few in here. Uh, Vohar, Vodalian Desecrator. We've got Rivas, 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 I don't know, of the Claw. Uh, standard foil. And I am gonna be honest, I just, regardless of the Brothers War or what set, I have not been opening very many, uh, um, boxes as of late i've been acquiring a lot of vintage collections and had some real zingers i'm going to share with you all um but yeah so i'm not too familiar with everything at this present point in time uh we have temporary lockdown there uh for an extended art rare uh tori davant 
Fury Rider for our stained glass foil uncommon. Jasmine Boreal of the Seven Commander uncommon, this time in foil. Where am I going to put that one? Then we've got Rasputin, the Oneromancer, Oneromancer, however you pronounce him. Zira, the Golden Sting, who's unfortunately not a very good pull. And Maria, the Scholar of Antiquity, Stained Glass Foil. Oh, so there is like a textured version and then a non-textured version. I'm just realizing that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. That's pretty conclusive. All right. Zing, zing, zing. Oh, gosh. Those lands are beautiful. Zar Ojanen. Skyon Evafreva. Efrava, I don't know. Urza assembles the Titans, a saga rare in standard frame. Leaf crowned visionary, fun card, very fun card to play with. Extended art rare. And actually, uh, is there any value to leaf crowned? There is. That's a few bucks. That's uh, yeah, that's four bucks. So nice pull. Rona, Shilajid's Faithful, Stained Glass, Non-Texture, General Marhalt Elsdragon, Non-Foil, uh, what am I doing with my life? Stang, Echo Warrior, I know what I did there, I put a rare into the uncommon pile. Let's move him over here with the Mythic. We've got Stang, the Echo Warrior, Rith, Liberated Primeval, Mythic Pole, and Squee, the Dubious Monarch, Stained Glass Foil. So that's pretty cool. We'll add him. These The rare and the mythic should all be in one pile. There we go. Now we're talking. And Squee the Dubious Monarch. All right. So we are approaching the halfway point. You know what I'm realizing? Sometimes those Legends cards get stuck in with the uncommons and commons. I'm going to have to double check that stack. But anyways, we've got a Braids, a Risen Nightmare. This is the textured, stained glass foil uh, variant. Very cute card. Very nice card. Just visually so appealing. And that stained glass is perfection. I love it. Sheila Dread, the Apocalypse in foil. That's the standard Mythic foil version. Um, I believe that this guy is around 70 bucks or so, 70 or 80 bucks. So that's a beauty. I'm very glad we pulled him. Wonderful. Varak, the warped Sengir. And I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want to hold up the video for too long in admiration of that card. It is a great card. Very glad we got it and we'll come back to it at the end. I'll do a little recap. Rulik Mons, the war chief, uncommon stained glass foil. Tobias, the doomed conqueror. Uh, textured foil, Hazazon, the Shaper of Sand. Oh my gosh, that was a double Shilajid pack, man. <whistles> and the Phyrexian, what did we get? And an Urborg Lyrgoff, Goif, Lyrgoif. Jeez, I can never say it. In foil, extended art rare. Wow, 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 wow. Just going to put that down, pick that back up. We're going to take a moment to pause in admiration here. Um, that is incredible. The double Sheila Drid. Phyrexian and non Phyrexian, but in foil. Incredible. I think the Phyrexian is going to be around the same 65, 70. This one's around 75, maybe 70, 70 to 75. And I think these guys are going to go up in value. These are just beautiful, bloody cards. Um, so phenomenal. That's this and the Ajani and the, and you, we've got some other $5 hits in here. Um, oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you, magic. Let's see if, let's just double check here to make sure I didn't miss any legends pulls. Uh, just to be sure, because I have done it before with this set. Um, I'm not very familiar with the set. I've, I've, I have opened a couple 
or several collector booster boxes, but those were for shop inventory. By the way, uh, good plug moment. Check out my shop on TCG Player and eBay. You will see that I have a 100% satisfaction rating from every single purchaser of all time, and there's thousands of purchases. So uh, what does that mean? It means I, I take care of my customers, um, and I do throw in freebies and perks from time to time. Temporal Firestorm for our standard rare there. Uh, so check it out. Um, generally speaking, TCG's player standard, I apply the same grading standards to eBay cards if I'm selling singles on eBay, and I grade one point down from what TCG player grading guide sets forth. So that would be if it's near mint, they say up to three points of minor minor points of imperfection would render it from a, a near mint to a lightly played. I go with two. Uh, it'll be dropped down to lightly played on the third. So that way you're practically always guaranteed to get the card of the quality that you're paying for. And uh, for whatever reason, should something go wrong, you know, I take care of my, my clients. So um, check me out, eBay and TCG Player. That's YOLO Tabletop Games. Uh, got a good amount of inventory out there right now, but it is constantly expanding as uh, things grow and I move virtual. So uh, thanks again, guys, for checking out this video and checking out the shop. We got a Defiler of Dreams for an extended art rare. Uh, Baird, the Argivian Recruiter, stained glass foil, uncommon. Torwauki, the Younger, textured, Hazazon, textured. Uh, Azira, these cards are unfortunately pretty well worthless. Um, and then we've got Azur, the Eternal Schemer, Mythic Rare in Stained Glass, non-textured. Uh, but a beautiful card, beautiful artwork. And I think Zur is going to be a few bucks as well, uh, by the way, so not bad. All right. So we are now at the halfway mark. That pack, that, that fifth pack was just incredible, the two Sheiladrids. And the Ajani there at the top. Just incredible. Uh, I'll be happy even without the Legends card. Although, of course, I want a Legends card. That's what you're buying these boxes for. Radha, the Coalition Warlord. Timeless Lotus. Nice pull. Nice little zinger there. And it's foil. So that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Pretty happy about that. Uh, it's not a big hit. Is it? Oh, give me a minute. Um, but it's a very nice hit. So uh, I think it's sitting somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks right now. So that is lovely as well. Wow. Um, and we've got a Quirion. Let's move these up a little bit. We've got a Quirion, uh, Quirion Beast Caller. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk right now. Um, extended Art Rare. We've got Urg, Spawn of Turg. Jasmine Boreal of the Seven showing up again. Joyra, Ageless Innovator. That's, uh, she's not bad, is she? Does she have any value or no? I might be mistaken. I might be confusing her with Joda. Um, oh well. Rare Stained Glass. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Karn, Living Legacy, Full Art, Planeswalker for our second Planeswalker in the box. That's pretty awesome. And a Keldon. Uh, Flame Sage in extended art foil. Very cool. Very, very cool. Still no Legends pull, though. Can we make that change at all? Nope. They come at the front of the box, right? It's been a while since I opened these. Defiler of Vigor for our standard rare. And we've got a Vodalian Mind Singer, extended art rare. N Sorry, I was checking out prices on cards. Uh, is it Nail? Nail? Nile? Avazoa Aeronaut, interesting. Stained Glass Foil, Ramirez Di Pietro Pillager. I usually see him a lot, haven't seen him much this time around. Rasputin. The Oneromancer and a Caves of Koilos. Nice. Good pull. Lots of full art cards this time. Jensen Carth Carthalian, the Druid Exile Mythic Rare Pull. 
Um, he's fun. He can be fun, but he's not very valuable. So whenever you cast a multicolored spell, scry one. If that spell was all colors, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. Uh, and he is only one plains and one forest to play, to bring him into play. So fun card if you're uh, maybe drafting or something like that. Okay, Pixie Illusionist, nothing, no legends, no legends. Shocks, shocks, shocks. Legomos, Hand of Hatred. Rundvelt, the Horde Master. Standard Rare Foil. Robarin, Mercenaries. I think I've mixed a couple cards up, but that's all right. Zarojanin. Ramirez, I've totally mixed up my cards, but that's okay, Onabi Kalaria, The Raven Man, R R R Rivas of the Claw, so that was not so good of a pack. Evolved Sleeper for our standard foil rare. Falaji Wayfarer. Bortuk Bone Rattle. By the way, the Falaji Wayfarer, let me check that. That I think that's a good card. Uh, yep, it's coming in between 4 and $5, so nice little pull there. Tobias the Doomed Conqueror. Orca the Siege Demon. Ratadrip. Rata, uh, Rata Drabek of Urborg and Historian's Boon. So, by the way, Historian's Boon, nice little pull. Uh, it's a few bucks, three to four dollars. So, nice little pull again. Lots of little one to five dollar hits, I think, in this box here in particular. Okay, we've got Rith, the Liberated Primeval. Stained Glass Foil Mythic Pull. The Aether Channeler. Standard Foil. The Defiler of Faith, and it is in rough shape. Do you see that edge there on the left-hand side? Rough Defiler of Faith. Okay, we've got Logomo Logomos, the Hand of Hatred. Tobias, the Doomed Conqueror, showing up again. Maria again. The Raven Man again. Lots of the, these, these uh, cards just kept showing up on repeat. Defiler of Dreams as well. All right, we're getting into our last pack. So that was still a pretty incredible box here, guys. Uh, you can't complain about this. Um, two Shieldreds. Can't complain. Time Lotus and Foil, Ajani Full Art and Foil, Karn and Caves and all the other little hits. No, no, let. oh, there's our Legends card and it's a Divine Offering. What a load of garbage. Ah, oh, man. Sure enough, we get one on the last pack and it's garbage. Shauna or Shana. Shauna, Shana. I think it's Shauna if it's two ends. Purifying Blade, Mythic Rare Pull in Stained Glass. Then we've got our, our tie resurrected, standard foil, Defiler of Vigor. Isn't, isn't that a good pull? Defiler of Vigor. Yeah, the Defiler of Vigor, he's a few bucks, so not a bad pull for an extended art rare. Raph, the Weatherlight Stalwart, Torwauki, the Younger, Ramses, the Assassin Lord, Ohabi Kalaria. Calera, blah, blah, blah. and a sulfurous spring full art foil another nice pull so not a bad box at all uh unfortunately nothing fancy for the legends pull but those two shilajids just making my day so uh hope you guys enjoyed this second video again hit that like button make sure you're subscribed and you will be entered into a free card giveaway um what i'm gonna do is by the way let me let me grab my little notepad here that you saw at the start of the video where i had my notes Okay, so if you are a subscriber, 
you're going to get a ticket and once a month I'm going to do this drawing. It's going to be on the first video of every month. I'll, I'll basically tally together all of the likes, all of the um, uh, subscribers and um, throughout all videos that I've posted in the month. And so if you're a subscriber, you'll get automatically entered into this drawing and you will get one ticket in the drawing for each liked video in a month that can't be duplicated on the same, you know, obviously you can only like a video one time. And then you also get one ticket each time you leave at least one comment uh, per video. Uh, so you're not gonna get 10 tickets for leaving 10 comments in a video. You're only gonna get one. Um, but hey, you got a chance to win something for free and you got a chance to win twice if you like the video and you drop a comment. So I hope that entices you all to get active in the channel, participate. Let me know things I can do to improve, things you might like to see that are different, um, any suggestions for content in the future, and I am more than happy to take those suggestions. And last but not least, I almost missed it, but we forgot the box topper here. Uh, maybe we got a triple Sheila did? No, we got a Rasputin. Um, Rasputin box topper, whoopity doopity doo. Uh, but anyways, that was that. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thank you.